Okay, so <clears throat> here's a little cost savings, uh, another cost savings method that I'm going to try. I bought some aluminum square stock. It's hollow. You can see. Whoop. You can see inside there. Um, and what I'm going to do is replace these T-slots. I had cut T-slots into the surface of my router table, um, you know, for the fence to run against. And then I also did it on the fence for some feather boards. But the T-slots kind of, uh, especially because the material is, um, you know, particle board underneath the laminate, it, uh, it tends to start deteriorating and it makes it difficult to slide back and forth. So some metal T-slots would be a lot nicer, but that stuff's kind of expensive. And I also have to order it because there are no local stores around here anymore. Our local wood, uh, woodcraft closed, unfortunately. So I had an idea, maybe get some of this uh, square stock and I will just put that in that slot and then cut a slot in the top here and make my own T-slot uh, stock. And aluminum is very easily cut on a table saw. Now, this is my original blade that came with my uh, Grizzly table saw. I don't use this blade. I never used it. Um, I use a, a forest woodworker blade, which I'm not going to use to cut this metal. I will use my original uh, blade because I don't need it for anything else. I don't really care much about it. Um, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to move my fence over and I'm going to line it up best I can uh, as close as I can get it by eye to the middle of the stock. And then I'll run it through and then I'll flip it over end to end and run it through again. And then that will ensure that the cut down the middle of the um, channel here will be directly in the, in the center. It might not be wide enough, so I'll have to uh, you know inch my fence over a little bit. I'll run it through one side, flip it over, run it through again. And that will widen the slot directly centered on the stock. So I'm gonna do that. I have, I'm only down to my phone, I, my other camera broke, so I can't hold this and do that at the same time. So I will uh, run this through and I'll show you the results when I'm done. Here's a quick tip. I take a magnet when I'm changing my table saw blade and I stick that right underneath uh, the arbor nut on the little metal guard down there. So as I'm taking the nut off, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you drop it and it kind of stinks when it goes all the way to the bottom of the table saw. So if you drop it, it sticks to the nut. It doesn't go anywhere. That's a nice little tip. Okay, here are the results. Uh, I ran it through, kept flipping it over until I got the right width of the channel I needed. I used uh, just a little bit of sandpaper across the top to get the burrs off and then in the in the groove itself. Um, when the aluminum cuts, it leaves strips like that. So it actually leaves a strip behind. You kind of have to pull it out of the channel once the cut's done. But with the blade nice and low, no worries. And it cut very easily. But here is the T-bolts that I use. And so this will fit right in this track like that and hopefully continue to slide nice and smoothly and work for me. Well, here it is, guys. It, uh, I'm very pleased with the way it came out. Um, here's my track that I made, and here's one of the, the carriage bolts that I use. It slides right in there. There's very little play, just enough. Just gonna move nice and smoothly in there, and not going to bind up, uh, and it's not going to uh, wear out, at least not as quickly, because aluminum will last certainly longer than our particle board. So, nice cost-saving idea. I think uh, that whole bar of aluminum, which is going to be enough to do this track, the one on the other end of the table, and the track on the fence, um, it was under $10, so it was $9 and something at uh, Lowe's. So, there you go. Have fun, guys.